Hello. Um, another uh, piece of advice to ask you. Um, I have been reading a book, A Republican Gamora, Inside the Movement that Shattered the Party by Max Blumenthal. And it is very, it is uh, quite disgusting. Um, now, I don't know if Max Blumenthal is a believer or not, um, but he is, he's a secularist. But um, the facts and data in this book is very, very disturbing. And it lends credence to my whole, one of my whole theories of making these videos is that fundamentalist Christianity gives atheism ammunition against the faith. And this whole book is filled, is riddled with hypocrisy, borderline criminality, um, greed, pride, lust, and if an unbeliever would read this, they might believe, oh yeah, that justifies why I'm not a believer. And so one of the things I was thinking about was making a series of videos, a Christian commentary on this book. Um, the problem is, as a follower of Christ, as a believer, I don't know if I should comment on this. I don't know if I should speak ill of another believer, of another Christian, even if it, it's of a denomination different than mine, even if it's of a more conservative belief than mine. Um, I don't know if I should do that. I mean, there. I I believe that that some of the leaders of the religious right are, are false prophets, are um, teachers who teach division, who um, preach of a Christ where compassion and love has been taken out. And it's the suffering servant has been replaced with macho, G, macho Jesus. And I do believe that not all of fundamentalist Christianity, but a good chunk of it has roots in the racist path, past. Um, and fundamentalist Christianity is tied with fundamentalist econo economics, economy, uh, and Rand, uh, Rand libertarian, um, laissez-faire free market economy. And I believe this is toxic, but I don't know. I, I mean, I want to, I, I feel like I, I, I must talk as a Christian and say that the actions that are chronicled in this book do not represent Christ. And hopefully show people that Christianity is not what I believe Max Blumenthal is trying to make it out to be. And I know he's saying the Christian right, but... Uh, I believe atheists like Chris Hutch uh, Hitchens um, can use something like this as ammunition against coming to Christ. Um, so... I mean, we are supposed to expose darkness. Um, Ephesians 5.11 have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. But on the other hand, uh, 1 Corinthians 4.5 uh, says, Therefore, I mean, I'll start with four. My conscience is clear, but that does not make me innocent. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, judge nothing before the appointed time. Wait till the Lord comes. He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will expose the motives of men's heart. At that time, each will receive his praise from God. But if false doctrines and if uh, Christianity that's almost all post-Calvary 
and based more on the Christ that I believe will come back and will judge and the wicked will be punished. But if you're focused entirely on that, but not on living the gospel, living the way Jesus Christ has taught us, I mean, it's all post-Calvary. There's no Sermon on the Mount, Jesus. And so I... I am kind of in a, in a boundary here. I mean, every time I want to, I just feel like I don't like speaking ill of people. And I believe some on the left and on the right enjoy. Enjoy pillaring, ridiculing, pointing out the foibles of other people. I mean, my dad, I love my dad. I, 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 mean, I mean, I love him with all my heart, but I mean, he's a blogger. And um, he, he, he get, almost gets off on pillaring the liberal left. I don't. I mean, I read Republican Gamora, and I feel sick inside. I feel like, I mean, the people chronicled in this book are... I believe, math, uh, Matthew 23. Blocking people from the kingdom of heaven, knowing they themselves will not go in there. Searching high and low for a single convert and making that convert twice the child of hell as they are. Now, and I know, this guy is a liberal with an axe to grind. But the thing is, it's very well researched. And the facts speak for themselves. And we are teachers, we are preachers, we are ministers. And we will be judged to a higher standard. I mean, we are the face of Christianity. And... So, I think I will. Um, and like I said, I am not a perfect Christian. I am not a perfect Christian. I have struggles. I struggle with porn. I struggle with lust. I struggle with sloth. But the thing is, I don't judge. I don't mention this because I want to say, I'm better. God loves me more. Oh, I'm so much better than the fundamentalists. Like the Pharisees saying, I'm so much better than the tax collectors. I'm not. I mean, I'm doing this twofold. One, to show the atheist who believe this is what Christianity is, that it's not. And two, as a wake-up call to just show people who do follow these teachers, follow these leaders, that... You're going down the wrong path. And God loves you. And God forgives every sin. The only sin he doesn't forgive is actually denying the Holy Spirit. Blaspheming the Holy Spirit. But we have to look at the word and look at the fruit of people. And if the fruit does not match up, you can't get grapes from th uh, thistles, and you can't get thistles from grape trees. So I think I'm going to do this. Um, because if anything, one book, I like, talk about what is wrong with Christian Christianity, Christian fundamentalism, and I know that, thank God, I am in a church that I believe is really, really biblically sound. And more spiritually sound, spiritually sound as well as biblically sound. And so I think I'm going to do this. Um, and I don't do this out of hate. I do this out of love. Because fu the fundamentalist Christians are my brothers too. And who knows, maybe like false prophets can see the light and become true prophets. God bless.